Reflective of the changing nature of the NBA. No Ewing, no Jordan, no Barkley, no Elijah. One never has the transition been so abrupt. Never has it gone to such a young group. And nine first time all stars seven on the east as Joey Crawford throws it up. Crawford, Joe Forte, and Terry Durham, the officials for the all star tilt. Alley -oop. And Carter from Iverson. Now, I think the biggest problem for all these players is learning how to. <laughs> Vince Carter is showing a level of maturity, skill level. And Carter, according to Jeff Van Gundy, will play 48 minutes today because the Knicks <laughs> play in Toronto on Tuesday. <laughs> morning with the left hand. Everything is Georgetown foul, Allen Iverson. Eddie Jones for three. A center in a game like this often finds himself in the Mark Eaton predicament. Out of the way. <laughs> Who are they looking at when they come down and stare into the crowd? Who? You mean the players? When Shaq, when they, who, who are they looking at there? That's a tough shot. Allen Iverson has made the two most difficult shots of the night. First of all, the scoop off Vince Carter's behind the back. You get you get something for a degree of difficulty in your voting? You should. Jason Kidd trying to take up a, a charge. Carter inside. Vince and the crowd starting to get into it a bit. Two point game. Is Shaq auditioning for the Olympic volleyball team as well? Can you imagine him as the outside hitter? And he's kept every one of those blocks in play. Just the soft caress. Iverson connects. Iverson, of course, averaging over 31 per game to lead the league. Vince Carter could not play in the Western Conference as a forward. Why? Because he'd have to play against Tim Duncan all the time. He'd have to play against Kevin Garnett, Carl Malone. And Iverson with another pretty assist, four tenths of a second remaining. Morning, and Alonzo Morning. Morning now in double figures with 11. Iverson going at Shaq. Beautiful pass, Iverson. East has really come out to play here. I don't know what Phil Jackson told their Westy, you know, at halftime, but they have come out lethargic. That's a three from Iverson. And Iverson from downtown. Now what Eddie Jones shows is great versatility within the team game, and uh, defensively, he's great in the passing lanes, leading the league in steals. Short on that three, Iverson the rebound. Iverson this time. Allen Iverson. And Allen Iverson now with 15 points as Kobe Bryant gets inside. Matumbo on the rebound. <laughs> Just like they drew it up. Iverson coast to coast. Allen Iverson. Iverson having a big third quarter. He yeah. now has 17. Kevin Garnett. Well, I, you know, that Orlando game was kind of a game of fate, though, for Magic Johnson because Clyde Drexler had a game where everybody was ready to vote him MVP until Magic, whoa, made those plans to do three. <laughs> Iverson to Jerry Stackhouse. Stackhouse having a fabulous season. What about Toronto and Philadelphia? No, not ready yet. What do you mean? Oh. Ready? Kobe Bryant was ready for that <laughs> pass, but then Iverson. Able to gather the errant ball. How about Stephon Marbury's return to Minnesota? That will be a dynamic event, as that slam dunk was right there. Uh, with Stephon Marbury, uh, an egregious omission from this event this weekend. Look for him to make a huge statement. Next Sunday, New Jersey at Minnesota. Would you make up your mind he's playing on a losing team? He deserves to be here. The only reason they're not a winning team is because they've had too many injuries. I must be listening to your statistician, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Iverson at the other end. I'm giving my vote to Duncan. Well, he, he should give his vote, Duncan. He should give the trophy to Phil Jackson because Phil Jackson kept him in the game at Shaq's expense. <laughs> Lakers start a big six-game road trip. Well, obviously, they want to make sure Shaq is ready for that. They didn't want him to get hurt. Shaq playing about 40 minutes a game this season. Final seconds, and the West will emerge victorious. And <laughs> Vince Carter <laughs> tries to get fancy. And the final score of the West 137 and the East 126. Mark, the thing I love so much about this is about a week before the All-Star game, you'll always hear guys posturing about, you know, I'm tired. I could use the rest. You know, I really don't want to go there. And then you see these guys get here and the smile on their face. They get in that locker room and the adrenaline rush of coming out and performing against the best players in the NBA. 
It's a high you can't even explain, and it's fun to see these guys. You know this is going to be fun for them. Doug, for Chris Webber, it's a return to Washington where he's had some of his best, some of his worst days. We, I'm sure it's sort of a, a bittersweet moment as we see Iverson with a fadeaway. Bryant for Kidd, intercepted by Iverson. Three on two, Iverson to the reverse! <laughs> Little pass to himself in the air. Allen Iverson thrilling the home crowd here as he went to Jordan. Now see the self pass, the ball off the glass, kisses it in. A great play there by Allen Iverson. Barnett. And Duncan with the putback. Tim Duncan of the San Antonio Spurs with eight points. He was the co MVP last season. Iverson. Allen Iverson. Beginning to heat up, he now has six points. Well, we've seen two spectacular plays by Allen Iverson already, playing off the ball. Look at the, the shot. Actually, his body is behind the backboard. He takes it over to his right hand, all in one motion. Kevin Garnett of the Red Hot Minnesota Timberwolves. How about the T-Wolves? Well, 11 straight wins. Boy, Flip Saunders, got, you've got to talk about him as possible coach of the year. Terrell Brandon, the job he's done as Glenn Robinson makes a little baseline jump. Now, Sprewell defending on Weber. Weber beats him off the dribble, but the tumble is there to rescue. Here comes Sprewell. Iverson. Allen Iverson taking it to the basket. And Jason Kidd, a guy who's trying to come to grips with his recent off-the-court issues in his life, which have obviously attracted uh, much nationwide uh, negative publicity. Well, Marv, I live in Arizona, and I've, I've watched uh, Jason Kidd and his wife, and I've watched the way they've handled the situation, and, and he stepped forward, and he says, look, I was wrong. I embarrassed myself, my family, my team. Any chance you think you'll get back on the court next year? Um, it's in God's hands, and I've been praying to him every night. You know, Marv, I was with him most of the summer when he was over playing in the Olympics, and I, you know, I had no idea at all that he was sick, and, uh, and you couldn't see it in the way he played or the way he practiced, the way he came to do things every day. But I will tell you this, and being around him most of the summer, I got to see such a different side of him. Just to follow up on that King Jazz game, Carl Malone went to Rick Adelman. He says, Coach, he said, you don't have to play me anymore the rest of the day. Let these younger guys play. They play each other the first game out, so Rick Adelman said fine. Over. So Carl Malone will not play anymore today. Here's Kidd. And uh, make it rebound number 20. The last player with 20 rebounds in an All-Star game. Charles Barkley with 21 in 1991. 100 to 93. The East hanging around. Carter now has 16 points. Now Kobe posting on Marbury. Here comes Iverson. Bryant. It's only a seven-point game with four and a half to go. Iverson, does he get the continuation? Yes, he does. It counts, and the foul, and it's down to a five-point West lead. Iverson for three. Allen Iverson will often have bad shooting games, but he'll come up and hit the big shots. He hit a big one here. The East up by one. Bryant, yes. Kobe Bryant with two clutch buckets. He now has 17. The West leads by three. Marbury for three. Yes! And he's tied the game at 108. Bryant. Oh, that is unbelievable. Matumbo ran out at him. Three unbelievable shots in a row here by Kobe Bryant. A stirring finish to this 50th NBA All-Star game. The West by two. Marbury for three. Again! Stephon Marbury has given the East a one-point lead. All right, here's Kidd. The East up by one. Down to five. Marbury guarding Bryant. Down to three. Marbury trying to get to Bryant. Duncan came up short, and it's, it's over. The East comes from 21 down. To defeat the West, they outscore the West 41-21 in the fourth quarter. Okay, you got gentleman's gesture to wear uh, Julius Irving's number six jersey. To me, you're kind of a more of a world be free type of guy, uh, number 21. But how come Julius and maybe not Wilt? I mean, I don't know. I, I, I think that's something I'll do next year with Wilt. But, I mean, I just wanted to do this for Doc, you know. Um, Philly is a uh, city that he got his fame in. He meant so much to the city, and he still does. I just want to, you know, distribute it to him. You know, it was an honor to be able to do it. Jason Kidd saying that he's well aware. Most assists for a half 
13 set by Magic Johnson. Antoine Walker is not kidding around. I see the conversation as he knocks down a three, and the East leads by one. Uh, now Kobe's out here dominating, playing good. Oh, thanks for about Kobe. Oh, but okay. Anyway, I'm glad to be here. Uh, it's unfortunate that I'm not playing, but we have a lot of other talent, and hopefully it'll be a good show today. Michael Jordan with a couple spectacular plays. All right, thanks, Jim. Yes, Shaq looking very dapper. As Jim mentioned, the second-leading vote-getter behind Vince Carter, who also unfortunately sitting outside line by a strained left quadricep. The terrific passing continues. Allen Iverson with his first field goal. Jimmy, it's a wonderful gesture by Allen Iverson to wear the number that was retired by you, number six, in this game today. What was your reaction to that? I was quite pleased. I heard about it on uh, Wednesday. Uh, Dave Kosky from the Sixers front office called me. said, Alan wants to wear my number. Before he even finished his sentence, I said, go for it. It'll be an honor to see him out there. Wally has come on strong, and this is third NBA season, averaging 19 points, a major stride. Alan Iverson, that's his second field goal. Slow start for Iverson. The West now leads by nine. Down to seven seconds, 133, 120. The West wrapping it up. Tim Duncan. Or no, Duncan stepped in, but Yao Ming will go against Ben Wallace of the Detroit Pistons, and it's controlled by the West. Tracy McGrady. McGrady from downtown. Tracy comes in leading the NBA, averaging better than 30 points per game. Steal by O'Neal. Iverson behind the back. McGrady was looking for a foul call. Nice pass by Iverson, the West 8, and the East 5. And Jason Kidd of the New Jersey Nets, Brad Miller of the Indiana Pacers have checked in. What a move by Iverson to set it up for Miller. Brad Miller, Steve Nash who just came on, setting it up for Duncan, rejected by O'Neal. And here comes Kidd. Iverson met by Nash. Iverson, yes. Well, let's go back to Brad Miller for a second. When we think about free agents at the end of the season, the first two names become Duncan and Kidd. Good play by Pierce. Leading to this, Iverson. Oh, and he blows the layup. Iverson again. Well, as Michael said from the beginning, he did not want, and it's very difficult, but he did not want this weekend to be all about Michael Jordan. But as Allen Iverson goes to the basket and finishes. And back comes the West. Steve Francis of the Houston Rockets try to set it up for Kobe Bryant. McGrady from Iverson. I really like how Iverson's playing in this game. He's making his teammates better. He's bringing the second defender to him, creating easy opportunities for his teammates. Good ball movement by the West, leading to this, an open shot for Francis. Francis from downtown. Well, that's the type of unselfish play that you'd like to see take place as Iverson takes to the basket and still shows you, Jeff, that he does remember how to score the basketball. Here's McGrady. Ten points for Tracy. Off the turnover, Iverson. Yes. That's a three for Iverson. Thanks a lot, Marv. Well, Shaq, a week from Tuesday, it's going to be Yao Ming and Shaq, part two. What's it been like to play with him as far as, uh, you know, with him instead of against, against them? He's a very nice guy. I met his family yesterday. He's a beautiful family. A very honorable person. He's good for the game. I'm glad he's there. Kid stepped away. Bryant not able to take advantage. Finish. Nice setup from Allen Iverson. We've seen it all tonight from Shaq. Think about it. He's dunked, he's blocked shots, he's isolated on the wing, and he led oh. the fast break and made the system. That will count and the foul. Jordan. Shot has been off. O'Neal. Iverson. Yes. The East leading 107-102. I asked Paul Pierce why he wasn't playing. He said, you have to ask the coach. I asked Antoine Walker if he was all right. He said, yeah, ask the coach. Isaiah's comment was, it's my team. Well, Paul Pierce, 13 minutes. Antoine Walker, only 10 minutes. Duncan not able to handle that pass. Iverson on the move, whipping by Nowitzki. Allen Iverson protecting the ball on Dirk Nowitzki. 22 for Iverson. Jordan. 
Guarded by Marion. Checking the clock. Jordan with four. Three. Not over the hill. Duncan with the rebound. And we go to overtime. Jermaine O'Neal. Oh, Iverson skying for missed time, but able to get to it. Iverson wide open. Look for the better shot. I actually thought maybe Allen might try to bank it off the glass from that particular angle there, but instead he's so used to playing it straight in, he went back to his strength. Bryant, yes. Bryant's had an outstanding game. That time, catches the ball, puts it on the floor, suddenly pulls up and gets a clean look, and we see Allen Iverson come right back with the finish at the other end. Well, we're down to 10 seconds remaining in overtime, and Michael has the ball, again guarded by Sean Marion. The fadeaway, yes! Wallace applying the pressure on the inbound. It's broken up by Kidd, played by Brown, who fires and is fouled. With one second remaining, he was fouled in three-point territory. He'll have three shot attempts. Only one second left. And he has tied the game at 1.38. And Jason Kidd looking for the catch and shoot right here. He finds Jordan, and the shot this time is blocked by Marion, and for the first time in NBA All-Star history, we go to double overtime. Iverson with the step, sets it up for Pierce. And Marv, I think Isaiah Thomas just asked Michael Jordan, did he want to go back in, and I think he declined. I'm not sure that I would think that I would see the Sacramento staff applauding as hard yes. as they are for Kobe Bryant when he got fouled for the three-pointer and on that shot right there. I think Rick Adelman is nice move by Iverson. It counts for the foul. Rick Adelman is saying, hey, I, I like having this guy on my side. Final seconds. And uh, this one is over in double OT for the first time in NBA All-Star history. 155, 145. The East has won 33. The West has won 19. As you go back over the course of this series, the West has won three of the last four. They just started the season at 18-3. That's a, a three-pointer by uh, Carter. Lakers have struggled. Many distractions, starting with Kobe's legal difficulties, the feud between Shaq and, and Kobe, plus the injuries uh, suffered by Kobe, Shaq, Carter, and Rick Fox. Oh, the glass. And Vince Carter puts it down. But nine of the 21 points for the West have come on second chance, 9-0, second chance points. Allen Iverson, Allen Iverson averaging 27 and a half per game, leads the NBA in scoring. He has won the scoring title three times. And Francis tried to loop that pass, broke it up. Iverson and Kidd now work the backcourt for the East with O'Neal, Wallace, and Carter up front. Here's Kidd from downtown, Jason Kidd of the Red Hot. New Jersey Nets. <laughs> Shaq throwing one off the glass. Here's Iverson putting it up. Well, if the game gets in the open court, the East has a chance because they are electric. They're finishing. Vince Carter's got off to a great start. Right, here's Kidd again for three. So Jason Kidd has connected on two straight from downtown. Tracy McGrady handling. Ben Wallace up front with Jermaine O'Neal and Vince Carter, Allen Iverson, Tracy McGrady are at the guards and Jermaine O'Neal opens up the third quarter by knocking down the jump shot. The East 66 and the West 58. Yao Ming with a deep jump hook. He's coming off the break where he had a terrific game against the Lakers and Shaquille O'Neal. Uh, the Lakers went in to Houston after they had lost a tough game to San Antonio. We see Tracy McGrady with the three. Yao with a tremendous game, and the Rockets were able to win that game. Here's a four on no one. Tracy McGrady from Allen Iverson who went off glass. And now Francis with the open shot. Way too much time. Here's the time you miss. Iverson setting it up for Carter. I think that quadricep strain feels better. Saunders sending to Shaquille O'Neal, Tim Duncan, and Kevin Garnett back 
out of the floor. Jason Kidd gives it up. Allen Iverson back to Kidd. Yes. That's the first semblance to me of what looked like real yes. basketball. Uh, this this is uh, the NBA has to be very proud of this game today, Mark. And, and the best basketball we saw was in the fourth yes. quarter. No question that both teams got serious down the stretch, and the West has defeated the East 136 to 132. So the West has now won four of the last five. All right, it's Yao Ming and Shaquille O'Neal. And the 54th NBA All-Star game is underway. Allen Iverson with the step on Kobe Bryant. And here's Vince Carter for three. Oh, you can see right away, Tim Duncan guarding Carter. Very unfamiliar with having to cover a guy who's going to shoot a lot of three-pointers. So the matchup's already a factor here. Iverson able to chase it down. How about Iverson, who has been on a tear, 60-point game recently. A couple of 50-plus games. Grant Hill. Grant Hill back after a four-year hiatus due to the five ankle surgeries is Duncan. So Iverson raced by and Stoudemire lost the grip. Iverson in the open floor with the loop. Iverson to James. Ron James, Allen Iverson now in the backcourt. Shaq is up front with O'Neal and oh, what a play. And Iverson is able to finish. I think that's the best part of LeBron James' game, his passing, his vision, his ability to see the floor. Log on to www.americansupportyou.mil. Mark, all right, thank you, Craig. Ray Allen of Seattle, Dirk Nowitzki of Dallas have checked in. Here's Jermaine O'Neal. Fun to see Nash and Nowitzki back together again, although the turnover there from Nash, but those two guys have been incredible together the last six years in Dallas. Oh, what a play by Iverson. The steal goes the length of the court and sets it up for Shaq. Marv, you know, Allen Iverson's going to turn 30 years old in June, and I don't think there's any guy on this floor that's matured more in the last few years. He said that he used to be bitter about always being in the public eye, but now he realizes that that's his life and he's enjoying it more and more. As he told me the other day, when I look in the mirror, I'm okay with it. Isn't that amazing how a what performance can show a coach that a guy may have a little more than he thought? And that coach, as it turned out, was Larry Brown. Right. I think he'd had a few other good performances before that, Marlon. I mean, yeah. Dikembe was well established at that point, but I do understand your point. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. Well, it kind of drove it home. You've seen an 18 point swing here. West led by as many as 13. Coming up on three and a half remaining in this first half. Here is Ilgauskas. Talking about Grant Hill coming back from injuries. How about Zadrunas Ilgauskas, who's been. Healthy these last three years, and only with a oh, what a shot. Mono so excited to be here as an all-star. In fact, he flew his family in from Argentina. Maybe the most grateful all-star I have ever seen as Iverson knocks down the jumper. I had a chance to visit with Mono the other night, and it's just so refreshing to see how happy he is to be here. Iverson, Alan Iverson has had a terrific first half, nine points for Iverson. And here is McGrady. I've never seen a good shooter ever scissor his legs like that, like, like Tracy does on his shot. Iverson, yes. Allen Iverson, 13 points along with eight assists. So the East has defeated the West, 125 to 115. Well, we're ready to go with Yao Ming and Shaquille O'Neal. To jump center, Bavetta will put it in the air. Just come over here. East has won 34, the West has won 20. Last year in Denver, the East came up with a victory. Allen Iverson, who has the ball, was the MVP. It is a 14-point lead for the West as we come up on a minute remaining in this first half. Garnett, and the rebound handled by Carter. Here's Iverson, going behind the back, had nowhere to go, trying to get it to Shaq, and O'Neal puts it down. East has got to get themselves involved here defensively. Allen Iverson, always capable of shooting himself back into the game. That's just his first field goal. Missed his opening five shots. McGrady, we have seen this on a number of occasions where he feels it and he explodes. A three for Tracy McGrady to extend that West lead. Iverson goes high off glass. Avery Johnson getting set to make some changes. 
James with a nice play from behind. Took it away from Duncan. Here is Wade. Kicks it out. Iverson. Yes. So in the first half, those were turnovers because they were throwing the ball all over the place. The East was. Now, all of a sudden, you're starting to see better decision-making. That's why they're getting back into the game. Derek, we talk about the international influx, but also we're talking about how maybe you revolutionized the game as a seven-footer with the threes. You won the three-point shootout last night. Talk a little bit about the game and how Nelly was able to let you do what you want to do best. Yeah, I mean, he gave me a lot of confidence. I think there were not a lot of coaches back then uh, who liked the seven-footer dribbling up and jacking up shots. Here's James for three. Rebounded by O'Neal. Iverson. Yes, nice. Fade away off the spin by Allen Iverson. The East 113, the West 107. Just under six minutes to play in the four. Grady rimming out. Rebounded by Ben Wallace. Squad with Iverson and Wade now at the guards and Wade off the bench and immediately knocks it down. The East 115, the West 107. T Mac going to isolate here. I McGrady played by James McGrady. That was deflected short, kept alive by Bryant and stolen by Rasheed Wallace and that will do it. Here's Iverson putting off the glass. And again, the stuff is missed by Vince Carter, but the East has come away with the victory. What if he would have missed that dunk and would have bounced back to a guy for a three-point shot? <laughs> At guard, nine-time All-Star from the Denver Nuggets, Allen Iverson. We talked to you last week, how excited you were to possibly play with Jason Kidd. Then you found out you weren't. Now maybe on again. What does this mean to you and the Dallas Mavericks if it is on? Well, you know, I think I want to make sure that it's really on before I, for, for a comment on. I think this has been the weirdest week for everybody involved. So uh, I want to hear it with my own with my own ears that, that the deal went, went through, and then uh, I'm more than happy to comment on it. Have you talked to Jason Kidd this weekend? And if so, what was that conversation like? Not more than ever. Here's Iverson. He had the step. Gives it up. Stoudemire. Amari Stoudemire. And the East now leads 26-19. Wallace for three. He shot that one left-handed. <laughs> it's funny, Coach. You proposed the situation. You said if Rasheed Wallace shot left-handed against Chris Pott, Rasheed would win. Brandon Roy in his uh, first ever All-Star game as Boozer is able to score to cut it back to seven. Yao stepping back for a three. Well, Yao may enjoy that. And Carmelo Anthony now with 12 points. Michael Jordan and Magic Johnson were the best tone-setting players in these All-Star games. And you can add Kobe to that list because it doesn't matter who's on the floor, he's going to play 100% all the time. Adam Iverson coming right back. Kick finding Bosch. And he was stripped. And here's Iverson giving it up to Nash. A little bit of that running game, Reg, you talked about. Now with Steve Nash and Iverson and Carmelo out there, they can get into more of that attack. And that pass from James picked off. Here's Anthony. The West within six. The kid stepping away, challenging Iverson to take the shot. And now he does, and he scores. Allen Iverson is a competitor. And an exciting finish to this 57th NBA All-Star Game. Ray Allen, 28 points, 14 over the last three minutes and 20 seconds. And the East wins 134-128. Back in Phoenix, it is the 58th edition of the NBA All-Star Game. The East is 135, the West is 122. The East has won three of the last four. Little fadeaway move. And it's a rundown by Iverson. Allen Iverson of the Detroit Pistons, who have had their problems. Oh, beautiful ball fake by Iverson. And yes, that is Allen Iverson with the new hairdo. The Cohen Rose are gone. And Marv, you were the one that was in the, his room helping him cut that. Yes, I was. Okay. And very helpful that way. Duncan over Iverson. And the tip missed by Stoudemire. Look out. Oh. <laughs> James whipping by Paul, who's just wisely stepped away. And here's LeBron setting his feet for three. This guy's become such a great basketball player, Marv. He's shooting the ball better. The biggest story here in Phoenix this weekend was not all-star game, was not a trade or a firing or anything like that. It was Allen Iverson. 
who showed up with a lot less hair than we're used to seeing him have. For the first time in at least 12 years, Iverson's gone back to his normal haircut. He's cut his braids. The deed happened Thursday night. One of Iverson's old friends from the neighborhood cut his hair. It was not the woman that normally does his braids. It caused quite the amount of controversy and comment among the East team. LeBron James said that his teammate looked like he was 10 years old again. Iverson said that his kids and his wife both told him that it was time to have a new look. As he told me yesterday, Obama's president now. It's time for change. You run that pick and roll with Dwayne Wade, you're going to get a lot of looks. LeBron James from downtown. That's 10 points for LeBron. Garnett, the big ticket in his 12th All-Star game, now has 10 points. The West has defeated the East. Paul fires one 146 to 119.
We'll be right back. 